Here we have an embryo that's just been fertilized, and this has been captured by time-lapse imaging. Now I'm going to show you the magic that takes place as the embryo develops. Just after fertilization, the egg will have two pale circular areas, which are the male and female sets of DNA. That's what tells us the embryo has been fertilized normally. The circular areas then merge into what we call a syngamy, which we can see here. And the embryo is now up and running, with the first cleavage here taking it from one to two cells. We then see it has a bit of a rest. And then we can see it moving from three and then four cells really very quickly. So it's now at the full cell stage, and this is around 24 hours after fertilization. The pale circular areas can just about be seen here, and these are the DNA material in each individual cell. The embryo then takes another rest, and then we will see again the pale areas, the nuclei, will fade and the cell divides again. So the embryo is now at eight cells, and typically this will occur on day three. And it is around about this stage the embryo is transitioning into running under its own steam, using its own genetic material. This is also the stage where if something has gone wrong, the embryo will commonly arrest, won't develop any further. But this is a really nice embryo. There's no little bits and pieces, no fragmentation. It's a lovely quality embryo. And this embryo has managed to keep dividing, and it's now at 10, 12, 14, 16 cells, becoming too difficult to count by eye. What we now see happening is that these cells will merge together in a process known as compaction. The cells are differentiating into two distinct types. One part will make the placenta, which we will see forming around the outside, and the other part will make the rest of the embryo. So we see a cavity start to form at the top here. See these cells organize themselves around the outside of the structure. And then we see the inner cell mass appearing down here in the bottom left. And that's the part that will form the baby. This is around about day five, and this is a beautiful embryo. And what needs to happen now is the embryo cells need to push through the outer membrane. We see that just starting to happen here. And this must occur in order for the embryo to implant into the uterus and continue developing. 